In this video tutorial, we're going to look at how we share variables between different functions, but more importantly, how we ensure the value of a variable is preserved between various function calls. To get started, let's first study this program. In this program, we have two callbacks enabled, the note received callback and the mod wheel callback. Our run function is set to do nothing by use of the while true loop with an ASAV sleep. In our note received function, we're checking to see if the velocity is greater than zero. If it is, we switch on an oscillator, else we'll turn the oscillator off. And in our mod wheel function, we're checking the position of the mod wheel and using this to set the value of wave type. So if the mod wheel is over halfway, we're setting wave type to be one, which in this case will be a square wave. Else we're setting wave type to be zero, which in this case is a sine wave. Up here we have the same variable declared, we have another variable called wave declared up here. And when we switch our oscillator on, we're saying switch on this oscillator with this wave type variable. Now this program is not going to work correctly, and if we run this, we'll see why. So inside ASERV, I'll press a key, and you should be able to hear, hear and see that that is a sine wave. So let's now move, the, let's move our mod wheel to over halfway, and hopefully this should produce a square wave. But unfortunately, it does not. The reason for this is that we have two variables called wave, but these are in fact different variables. Another thing to note about functions is that if we declare a variable inside a function, its value is lost once the function exits. So each time this function is called, this is going to be a different wave variable or a different variable altogether. So to fix this, we're going to use something called a shared variable. As you will see as we progress with this course, shared variables are actually member variables of the IAP class. But for the purpose of keeping this nice and simple, we're just going to refer to this as a shared variable because the variable is shared between multiple functions. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our IAP.h file. There's a label where it says shared variables, so we're going to add a variable here called wave. And we're going to set this to be equal to zero. Now what we need to do is go into, our, uh, into both of our functions here, both our callbacks, and delete the other instances of wave. And once we do this, these functions are now going to use the wave variable that was declared in our .h file, i.e. a shared variable. So this variable, wave, can be accessed by any of these functions. And more importantly, its value is preserved between function calls. So if I set this here to be 1, its value won't change again unless I specifically update it. Its value will be preserved between dif different function calls. So now let's run this program and hope that it works. OK, so let's press um, any old key. And hopefully you should hear a sine wave. And now when I move the mod wheel to be, again, back up to the top, we should now hear and see a square wave. So we can verify that this program has worked. That's it for this video.